unfortunately, I'm not doing my tech talk on for loops. It's not, <laughs> so it's not happening. I'm doing it on uh, ng draggable. So, all right, let's go to the next slide. All right, uh, why? What is it? If you ever want to, if you ever want to get something to move, if you want to be able to drag your own DOM elements and place them somewhere else, that's what you use ng draggable for. So, aside from that, uh, I mean that's pretty much what it sounds like. And uh, the way you go about getting it is on GitHub, and uh, the URL is there. This username makes me chuckle, actually. Just, uh, uh, it's fun, funny. Uh, so then, uh, then you have to include, obviously, your Angular script. It's an Angular library. You have to include the I Angular script and the ng draggable script in your, uh, in your HTML page. And then uh, wh where you declare angular.module, and you, for states, you put UI right router in your dependencies. You have to just put UI, uh, UI draggable, ng draggable. So, yeah. So how it works. So this is, this is my chess game, right? I use it for the chess game so you can drag and drop your pieces. So um, pretty much the rest of this tech talk, I'm just going to go through an example of how this works on, on the board. So this is, this is your board, right? And the way this is represented in Angular, it was through a variable called scope.board. It's a simple scope.board. So the board is like what's in the HTML, and you, you put dollar sign scope in front of it to make it Angular, right? So then, uh, also, it's a 2D array. Basically, it goes like uh, row 1, row 2, row 3, then column 1, column 2, column 3. So it's like this will be one array of eight elements, eight objects, rather. This will be an, uh, an array of eight, and so forth. It's kind of important to know. I build off of this. So this is the board scheme. So for each one of those squares, you have Row, column, the piece associated, the team, and the type. Not going to get too much more into that. But just look at, just look at that and just remember that there's, uh, each one has a row and a column number and the team and the type. And now get ready for your eyes to get blown for a sec, all right? This is the HTML, all right? <laughs> I, know, I know it looks pretty bad, but uh, all right, I'm, let me break it down. For, for my friends in the back who cannot see, uh, this, remember how I talked about scope.board? So, uh, it repeats row and board, and then grid inside a row. And then uh, basically, uh, inside of each, ta each table block, I put a div in there, which is ruled by the ng class. So if you see grid.team and grid.type. Remember from the schema above, there is team and type? So that's what the dependency is here. All right, so now the main function that controls it the, the, like the god of this is called scope.onDropComplete. And it takes the data and it takes the event, right? So then, uh, this is how, what you use to manipulate the DOM. Now, I took, I took a, uh, a cut out of the code of the beginning of the function. Now, you can see here, there is data being used and there is this. And, well, I also console log event. I didn't personally use event, but I'm sure there's a lot of uses for it. The fact that it's there, it signifies it's important use. But uh, for a lot of DOM manipulation, if you set it up right, you can just use the data in this. And I'll show you how. So this is this, right? So <clears throat> if you, so this is from the console log. So what happened here is I, I literally just moved this piece from here, this pawn from uh, row seven, column eight, to row five, column eight. So this, in the context, is where your drag ends. So you know, when you click the mouse and you start dragging something and then you, you let go of the mouse, that's where this comes in. So pretty much where you drop it. So if you notice, OK, do you remember from the HTML? Who remembers from the HTML? Maybe a show of hands. It was uh, row inside of board, and inside of row it was the grid. I see some people standing up. see some people raising their hands. All right, good. So, uh, so here, this is the updated, you can look inside your grid object here and see it says 5 and 8. And if you go to the next slide, for the data, uh, same, same concept here, except over here it's 7 and 8. So basically, uh, to summarize it, it's, you can use your data to find out where it started and you can find, use your this 
to find out where it ended and just use the variable that you declared inside of your HTML so yeah and this is the event um, honestly I, I didn't use event at all in this I, I didn't have any need to uh, I, I got drag and drop working just using data in this and that's all I got